Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I uh, know this is a little bit of a different environment, but I wanted to do a different kind of video today. So, welcome to my bedroom. I'm sitting at my makeup table. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm sitting in front of my window. Um, please excuse me if I don't look at the correct spot on the camera. I'm filming on my phone, so I'm not quite used to that. Today, I have a little bit of a haul video for you. Just a little break from planner stuff. So, I have some stuff from Ulta as well as Target, uh, Home Goods and TJ Maxx, and Walmart. Um, just one item from Walmart. So if this is the kind of video you like, then sit back and relax and enjoy. And if it's not your thing, I think I'm planning on doing a plan with me for this coming week on Sunday. Probably will be uploaded Monday, so just stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and get into this haul. Because I just have the one item from Walmart, I'll go ahead and start with that. I am obsessed with the Peeps. The, not the candy itself, the little marshmallow rabbits. All the decor that they have out that is based on those, I'm just obsessed. It is so cute. And so I found this little guy at Walmart yesterday. It is $3.98, and they have several different ones. One, I think it said hanging with my peeps or something like that, but I just thought that this was so cute, and I can't wait to put it out in our house for Easter. All right, next I'm going to move on to Home Goods and TJ Maxx. These two items are from TJ Maxx. So the first item is my Clinique face wash. This would be step one. In the Clinique three-step system. I'm a skin type 2 so this is the mild facial soap and I did need a new one of those and I love the new lid on these. It doesn't have a pump anymore and I think this would just be a lot easier for traveling with so I'm excited to start using this one as soon as my other one runs out. And the next thing that I got, and it may, mainly was just a purchase because it was so cute, but I got a little spa headband to go around my hair when I'm either doing my makeup or washing my face at night. I've already taken it out of the package, but it's just so cute. And I can't wait to start using it. I just don't want to get makeup on it, but um i can't wait to start using it for washing my face and everything it's just so sweet and it is such a soft headband very comfy and does a great job keeping your hair pulled back the next two items are from home goods and the first one is a ray dunn mug for saint patrick's day this is top of the morning and on the back side it has a shamrock and it's green on the inside. I love this. Um, I am mostly Irish. My background is mostly Irish. And I love the St. Patrick's Day designs that Ray Dunn had. There was one that said Irish Coffee, which I really wanted that one. But it didn't have the cute little shamrock on the back. All the other ones did. So I chose Top of the Morning. And these were actually right at the checkout when you were walking through. A lot of Ray Dunn stuff is in that area. So really cute purchase. $7 for this mug. And it's a pretty good size, pretty good size mug. So I love that. And the last thing from Home Goods is somebody that influenced me. Karen at Planning with Care Bear. She's got a YouTube channel. She does all different kinds of planners. I know she does hourly as one of her main planners, the Erin Condren Hourly. Um, so I will try to link her YouTube channel below. Make sure to check her out. Um, she's doing all kinds of content now. But she purchased this and I actually found it last night and decided this was the way I wanted to go with my desk. So this is a Ray Dunn pen and pencil set. And I've been kind of struggling trying to figure out how to organize my pens when it's not a holiday. I do have some Valentine cups and some Christmas cups that I found at the dollar spot. I've talked about those before in other videos. But just for every day, I thought this was really cute. And then there's another set that has actually a third compartment that says markers. 
but this is plenty big for me. And I think it's going to look really cute sitting on my planning desk. So, Karen, thank you for the inspiration. And this was a great find at TJ Maxx. This was $15. I do want to move on to Target next. I only have three items from Target. Um, I talked about this in my January favorites. I needed a new Burt's Bees cuticle cream. This is the lemon butter. And this smells so good. Um... It is apparently very popular because there wasn't many left. Um, but it smells so good and it does a great job softening your cuticles, keeping them soft. And the one I had that I showed in that video was starting to smell a little bit off. Um, so I went ahead and purchased a new one. But this was my first find at Target. So my next find, I want to go ahead and put a disclaimer that this, this is not a one day haul this this is kind of collective um so i have actually tried this product and i love it if you're not familiar with jessica braun i love her youtube channel she's a beauty youtuber but she also has a family vlog channel she's really sweet really cute and i have really been enjoying some of the makeup suggestions she's been giving she does high-end and she does drugstore and this was a product she recommended at Target. She said this was one of the best under eye powders that she has ever used. It is the number seven Lift and Luminate. And I'm in the shade Light. And I have tried this. I'm getting ready to run out of what I'm using on my under eye, which is the Laura Mercier. It's almost gone, as you can see. So I have tried this a couple of times. The packaging is just beautiful. And I do like it. I, I think it's a really good powder. Um, it gives nice coverage. Doesn't really crease on me that bad. I don't have it on today, but I have been enjoying it. I'm gonna try to use this up before I fully jump into this, but the couple of times I've used it, it's been a really good under eye powder. And my last purchase from Target, Elf Cosmetics has done a new launch, and this was one of the items that they have launched, and I have seen a lot of YouTubers comparing this to the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and I found somebody that did a comparison, and I don't know if it was a video, if it was something I found on the internet, about the ingredients in this um i did not realize that some of it's not great some of the stuff in here is not great this is a supposedly a clean formula um you shake it it does have the shaker ball and the mist is actually pretty good um once you got your makeup on you just spray it and it supposedly sets it um I have used it once, so this may be something that I get back to you guys on. It may become a future favorite in a favorite video, but um, it's much cheaper than the Urban Decay. And that's the reason I wanted to kind of do this haul is, you know, I'm starting to get some suggestions like this is definitely cheaper than the Laura Mercier. Um, secret brightening powder and this is quite a bit cheaper than the all-nighter setting spray and the ingredients are better than what's in the all-nighter setting spray so excited to give this more of a test run and I will keep you guys updated on my thoughts on this all right and so my last items I'm going to go over are items I got at Ulta again this is a collective haul this is not anything that I just went out and bought all at one time. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter and it is in the shade Lunch Money. And I've seen several YouTubers talk about this highlight. I wanted kind of a creamy based highlight. Um, and it is a beautiful shade. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's so bright, but such a pretty shade um i will swatch it i'm not going to swatch everything because some of it is still in the packaging that hasn't been used yet but that's a swatch of lunch money 
Um, Allie Glines has recommended this one. I've seen several YouTubers talking about another shade. Um, and now I can't think of the name of it. There's another shade that is the similar, a similar tone to this, but much brighter. But Allie Glines has recommended this, this color, and I think it's really pretty for my skin tone. Again, there's a swatch of it. I'm definitely no beauty YouTuber, but I just like to share good finds when I see them. So I'm super excited to have a cream highlighter in my collection now. Highlighters is one of my makeup weaknesses. Next is a ColourPop quad. So two items from, uh, actually there's going to be three items from ColourPop in this haul. But this ColourPop quad is called Citrus Fizz. And you can't get much simpler than a quad. Just walk right through it and it, you have an eye look done. And you can even simplify it by just choosing an all over shade with this one or just using these two here and not even doing a shimmer shade. I already have one of the um, ColourPop quads. So this one is Citrus Fizz. And then I've already used this one called Sorbet, which is a much pinkier toned one. I used this one for Valentine's Day. And it gave me a very pretty pink look for my outfit that I wore for our dinner date. So this is Sorbet. And then the new one I haven't played with yet is Citrus Fizz. I think this is the last color pop item. This is an eyeshadow palette called Wild Nothing. And I can't remember where I saw this. I want to say it was Jessica Braun again because she was doing an eye palette clean out or declutter. And this was one she kept. So here's the packaging. It's really pretty. And then here's the shadows. Are these not gorgeous? I don't have anything like this in my collection. So I really love these really soft, muted shades. This is totally me here. I love it. And what's funny is there are so many similar colors to the ColourPop Quad in this eyeshadow palette, but I couldn't help myself. When you're traveling, this there's nothing easier than taking something like this. But this was just absolutely gorgeous. So again, this is Wild Nothing, and it is still available to purchase at Ulta in the ColourPop section. My next purchase was a new eye pencil sharpener, and this one is from Urban Decay. It is called Grindhouse is the name of the sharpener. It's got a big pencil and small pencil, and it does a really good job. I have an older version that I'm getting ready to get rid of because this is the older one. This top always comes off inside my makeup bag and no, that's not good because then you've got all those colored shavings inside your makeup bag. This one seems to stay together so much better. And this was a very good pencil sharpener as long as the top would stay on. So I'm excited to have a more up-to-date version of it and hopefully we'll have a better success of it staying together when I travel with it. I have purchased several of these throughout the years from Ulta, and I love it because it's perfect for traveling with, but it also is perfect to have at home. It's just a travel nail file, and it comes in this plastic case, and I love that because if you want to keep it in a makeup bag at home or, or in a drawer, it's not getting all the gritty white stuff on the nail file all over your stuff. So I really love it. These are up towards the front of, of the store where the registers are. Ulta usually keeps a bunch of travel size things up there. And this was one of them that was up there. And I already have two of these, but they need to probably be replaced. So I'm excited to have a brand new one of this. I may actually go back and get one more because I think they're like $2 maybe. I don't know if I have the receipt for it. I don't have the receipt for it, but I think they're like two or three dollars, not expensive at all. And again, it comes with this travel case, which I love. So perfect for not getting nail filings and the grit stuff all over your makeup bag. In the last item in this haul are three brand new Buxom lip glosses. If you watched my favorites 
I want to say it was back in October. Um, I talked about buxom lip glosses. They are plumping. They have that slight tingly feel to them. I am wearing one right now. This is pumpkin, Pippa pumpkin, and it's like a pumpkin spice type color. It's got some gold shimmer in it, and it's beautiful. Um, these are three new shades to me, so I'm very excited. I have Gabby, which is a um, more of like a, a plum, a deep plum shade, Sangria, and Bellini. So let me take these out to show you guys what they look like. Again, these are some of my favorite lip glosses. I, I've been obsessed with them for months now. They just have a beautiful shade range and um, they're not so tingly that they hurt your lips. It's just, they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful on the lips. So this is Gabby. This is a very deep, purpley plum color. And again, I'm not gonna swatch these because these are brand new. This is Sangria, which is a, a candy apple red color is what it's described as. And this is Bellini, which is a beautiful peach color. This will be pretty in the springtime, especially if I pair it with a look from this palette. I mean, come on, how pretty is that gonna be? So yeah, that I'm excited to have those added to my collection. The other two I have right now are Dolly, which is kind of a classic mauve color. And actually, she needs to probably be replaced pretty soon, as you can see right there. And then White Russian, which was a, another very popular color. This one is very um, pale. But what I like to do with this one, and I may have already talked about this, but what I like to do with this one is to pair it with the MAC um, Velvet Teddy. This is a matte lipstick, but the combination of these two is very, very pretty. So I like to pair it up with that. And uh, there's a few other lipsticks I have paired them with. So check out Buxom Lip Glosses. They are around $21 at Ulta, but they will last you a, a very long time. So they are worth the investment. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And this may be a content type of content that I continue to do. Every now and then I'm not going to be shopping just to do a video. But these were some great finds that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, I was especially pleased with TJ Maxx with this. I looked on Clinique's website. And this is going for $19.99 on Clinique's website. I got this for $12.99 at TJ Maxx. And it's brand new packaging because Clinique just updated this. So it's the brand new packaging. So I know it's not old. And I am just was super thrilled to see that. And they also had a couple of the toners, which is step two in your system. So this is step one. So I was thrilled to find that. But that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch you guys very soon on the next video.